years. Like I'd be as uh, sick to my stomach. Kylie Jenner has deleted her post showing support for Israel. So you know, there's a whole conflict uh, with Israel and Palestine where I don't know everything about it. We did some research, but honestly, we're not experts on the whole Israel Palestine situation. So bear with us. So supposedly, uh, Israel kind of came to be. And they kind of, you know, kick some Palestines out of their area. Mm -hmm. And they keep on trying to do agreements of, like, uh, agreements on land. And Israel kept agreeing, but Palestine would not. And they would keep on fighting. And it's got to the point where, like, Israel owns, like, pretty much all of the land now in that area. And uh, something like where the uh, people that support Palestine supported allegedly uh, I, you know, we don't know, but let's say, this is what they say that they supported like terrorist groups mm -hmm. and they attacked, uh, Israel and now Israel's, uh, responding back by attacking them. So it, it's a really bad situation all the way around. I really don't know who to support or exactly what's the truth. We're all the way over here in America. And honestly, they don't teach us history on what's going on everywhere in the world. So. I don't know. What do you think, Coach? That's disrespectful because, I mean, when I came over here and I found out that y'all had Texas history, I was like, we don't got Florida history. Even though, I mean, Florida's I mean, where... Florida's not special. First off, Florida's where they landed. Isn't that where Napoleon first landed at was in Florida? Napoleon was not in the States. Well, he landed in America, right? He's talking about Christopher Columbus. I mean, Christopher Columbus. No, he actually landed in some islands. And he thought he was in the... Uh... United States? Yep. Yeah. But he wasn't. But whatever. Florida was all started at. That's what we're sticking to the story at. Florida is where it's at. I think that's where Spain landed. This is where somebody landed. I don't know, man. We're not historians. We don't know all history. This is where Pocahontas started. But back to the story at hand. Pocahontas go, go to the next Pokemon. clip. So it looks like here, you know, in Israel, they said. Oh, yeah. I saw her Instagram post. I actually clicked on it, and everyone was saying in the comments that they were on Team Palestine. But I've also seen people say you know one way or the other that i've seen people speak out for both sides and people from both sides get criticized so uh israel prime minister declares war after surprise attack by gaza militants and we have a video so let's go ahead and see what the news is trying to spin here do this now launching from the gaza strip we do know that israel has been in peace talks with saudi arabia for example we also know that Hamas is backed by Iran. Does that factor into this? Undoubtedly, Willie, I think uh, Hamas and its main patron in the region, Iran, want to stop the momentum behind an Israeli-Saudi peace deal. This is a deal that would build on the Abraham Accords where Israel made peace with other Arab nations. Uh, undoubtedly, that's a threat to Iran, and Iran has been funding Hamas. So this is an effort to inject uh, military violence into the middle of those, ne those negotiations and make it much harder for Israel to pursue peace. I think the biggest Correct. question from here, Willie, is where does this go next? Obviously, if Israel conducts operations against Iranian targets in the region, this could be a much wider war. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, Jeremy, because Prime Minister Netanyahu has promised a crushing response, which already is underway. He says, we will win this war. What does that mean exactly when you're getting attacked from Hezbollah in the north and Hamas on the border in the Gaza Strip? How wide could this war become? Well, this war will probably unfold in three phases. First, to secure the southern border, to get back any hostages that have been taken and hunt down any terrorists still inside Israel. Second, a comprehensive aerial bombardment of the Gaza Strip to take out, destroy, and degrade uh, Hamas infrastructure. And third, probably to go after Iranian targets in Lebanon, in Syria, maybe even in Iran itself, in the Persian Gulf. That, of course, could be a, a war between two countries that don't share a land border, Israel and Iran. You don't see that very often. And if you don't, if you already know, Donald Trump is all over this on how Joe Biden is his fault. He been seeing this. If he was president, there he would wouldn't be, let this happen. He wouldn't let this happen. This is what he's saying. This is what Trump is saying. There would have been. There's no war that's gonna happen because everybody's saying we're getting closer and closer and closer to World War Three because America wants to always help all these, all these little small places just because they want to gain alliance or they want to like you know for some strange reason you, I would think like oh yeah you know we're you basically like the world police and that's where we run into problems. Now we're not the Mexican police because we want money for helping. Because, like, you know, as soon as we help you, like, we need $9 billion for helping you. Because we're not doing it for free. We're doing Sometimes it. Sometimes we are. Not this time. 
I mean, I'm pretty like, what are we we uh, helping out Ukraine for free, right? For oil. Oh my God. It's always for oil. For something, always. There's always some ulterior motive. There's always an ulterior motive. They're never doing it just to do it. So I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know who to believe. I don't really know all the Middle East history on whose land was originally who, who migrated there, and who was uh, committing atrocities to who. So I don't know if this is like a retaliation or the first blow. And it seems like it's the first blow in a while. Mm. Yeah, it's so like 2007-5. I, 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 like, I don't know how you can really pick it any side when one side is uh, started it off and committed a lot of atrocities. But uh, apparently they said the other side has uh, committed some atrocities as well. I think they're constantly in attack. If you have any information and you want to shed some light on your perspective on what you think is the, uh, uh, I guess, the best possible outcome or what you think should be done, put it in the comments section below. Enlighten us and, uh, you know, let us know what you think. Or we can always do what this next slide does. Believe what Mia, Mia Khalifa says. So you already know Mia Khalifa, you know, shared her whole experience with the whole situation and she lost her playboy deal i didn't even know she had a playboy deal yeah i heard that she had recently got one i think that uh, within the past couple months but uh -huh. they said that they terminate the relationship with mia after her supporting hamas who's the uh, one that was with uh palestine and supposedly supporting the uh quote unquote uh terrorist that were doing the attacks oh so she's so she's the israel that were committing the atrocities the Israel people, Arab people attacking. Okay. It's just confusing. Like, the whole, like, I guess because the names and everything, and we don't really, that's crazy. Like, we don't talk about them at all. Like, we talk, we just talk about the Red yeah, Sea it's like and Jesus. like Israel and Palestine, and I think Palestine was, we were checking a video where Palestine was the original land, uh -huh. and then a lot of uh, Israel people, Israelites, uh, came in that area, and then they got land, and there was, different wars and it's going back to like the the 19 like the early 1900s yes but play the video Think calls. even beyond that or before that excuse me for everyone arguing that all of this started because of hamas you like hi bros hamas didn't exist until 1987 20 years after the apartheid started 20 years after the occupation hamas was born within the occupation as a means of resistance this isn't ha the the occupation isn't happening because of hamas and that's what you have she have a guy you can't sh share your experience even though it's your country even though you was i mean you was born I, don't know. I just you gotta go with the popular opinion i think right now the popular opinion is to mm. go with the uh, people that's not attacking there's people that go with israel so they feel like they're doing the right because they, they i guess because know, they're trying to sign with us and they're trying to sign the whole peace supposedly treaty they're, them. they're allies with us and there's certain peace trees going on in that area and who knows i mean that's, I, I, I'm not an expert on uh, relations uh, over in that part of the world. So, and then everybody's saying like this is just a whole waste of time because um, Israel, I mean Hamas and them, they know they're gonna lose this war. USA is gonna, US is gonna start helping, you know, aiding and giving, giving money. Oh yeah, like we even sent like a few of our giant warships over there. Exactly. Yeah, so some of our largest warships we done sent over there. So I'm I don't know what it's gonna do. The people were saying that he's just gonna destroy the whole the whole land and level the whole place. Where like it'd be pointless to even. They sign said they with wanted him. to stop what negotiations between uh, was it like Israel and Saudi Arabia were yeah. finally gonna come to peace, and they wanted to uh, kind of stop slow that. it down. So, let us know your opinion. Hopefully things can be worked out where the uh, the bloodshed can stop on both sides uh, because you know, there's a lot of innocent people that are being affected and that's something that nobody wants. True, and that's just sad. Imagine like imagine if you were there and then you was like, oh yeah, what happened to Kenny? Oh yeah, he got hit with a bomb. You can't say that part right day. now. Uh, it's just, uh, you know they got an episode about it. Yes. Um, but yeah, there was a... a yeah, there was a, a lot of, they said there was actually a handful of Americans. Was, I was trying to remember the number. I couldn't remember. The child there? No, that they lost their life. Oh, yeah, they lost. And I also heard that. I don't remember if it was like in the 20s or close to 100. Mm -hmm. And I heard that they were going to start like taking out. This is crazy. This is, this this is a lot of bad Man, stuff. just pray for.